Hi, welcome back to our channel. Today, y'all, I'm going to be doing my friend's little boy's hair. Y'all, before I start this video, there are some mistakes in this video. So I want y'all to just watch this process because I am not a coil girl. I absolutely hate doing these things. But because this is one of my besties' babies, I will do anything for him. But I'm telling y'all, I did not want to do this. <laughs> I'm just playing. But um, I, anyways, y'all, I started out these coils. And I, at first, I was like, man... What is taking me so long? And at this point, y'all, I realized it was the comb. I absolutely love this comb for parting, but I do not love this comb for coils. So you'll see me after this particular one, I go ahead and switch out. And I wish that I would have used that comb from the beginning because once I switched to this other comb, y'all, I was going to see. Look, there we go. I'm going. So I do want to let you guys know, like these, this is his first time ever getting anything done to his hair outside of a haircut. So I walked him through what to expect. I let him know the ugly processes and phases that he may or may not go through, but everybody looks at things differently. Some people don't like the fluffy stage. I love it, but I just wanted him to know what was coming. So I educated him on what he needs to do and then we got started. So Y'all, this was a pleasure, though, even though I don't like doing coils. Like I said, I have watched this baby grow up. I'm just so happy that he chose me to start his locks. But I went ahead and I used some great products. I shampooed and deep conditioned his hair. I did use some Parker J's Healing Hibiscus on his hair, as well as the Magic Mane Oil. And I rinsed those out after I steamed and deep conditioned his hair. And then I actually, um, I, I like doing that because I feel like when I do the oil with the conditioner for styles like this, their hair is super moisturized. Now, I wouldn't do that for a silk press, but if I'm doing somebody with a natural style, I always do that. So I feel like his hair had great slip and you could see everything was just gliding through. Now, yes, I did have to detangle some more parts, but that's partially because he never does anything to his hair that will require him to in-depth detangle his hair so it did take me quite a bit to detangle the middle of his head but we got it going so to for the actual twist i'm using a flaxseed gel um from i believe it's aunt jackie's i love that gel i love it for wash and goes i love it for starter locks and everything because it also provides even more slip i like the shine i like the hold and i feel like it doesn't leave the hair heavy and it doesn't leave like a huge residue it doesn't get super flaky so that is what i'm using to twist his hair so right here you see i'm messing up in some pieces so i just like to leave everything in because you know people always be like oh how do you do this how do you do that you do it so perfect no we don't um yeah professionals messed up too so you can see me knocking clips i did have to go in off camera and some of these i did kind of retwist to make sure that they laid flat now his hair holds water so he sat under the dryer a full two hours and still to me i don't believe his hair was 100 percent dry but y'all it was 10 something at night his mama was tired we all was tired so he i think he's gonna you know i'll keep y'all posted on his journey when he comes up for his retwist i will definitely be recording that and sharing that with you guys but i hope that this video helps somebody if you would like a more in-depth tutorial just let me know and leave me some comments below let me know what you think and i will see you guys on my next video goodbye Yeah.